Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly, and this is the Talking Points Memo, the Mueller Report. So it's supposed to come uh, the week of March 4th, which is a week from today. Um, I'm not sure. Of course, I don't have any real indicator on how it's going to come out. It has to go to the Attorney General, William Barr. Um, and then from there, Mr. Barr will discuss it, I guess, among his chieftains at the Justice Department. And then they'll uh, brief some congressional committees. Now, as soon as they brief the congressional committees, it'll leak. Uh, not the whole report, because Barr's not going to give that to Congress. Barr's just going to give him a summation. And in the summation will be some redacted material and all of that. So you can assume that when the Mueller report is released, the public will still be as confused as it is right now. But even if the full report were released and every one of us could see it, the press would not report it honestly. Those people who have convicted Donald Trump of being a Russian agent will continue to do that. They can't say, oh, I was wrong. I had it all wrong <laughs> for two years. And the people who have defended President Trump, if something comes out of the Mueller report that's damning, that's possible, they're not going to say, wow, that's bad. They're not. They're going to spin it like, oh, come on, or eh, nah, bo, 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 bo. Look, in the media in America, it's all about money, all right? One side makes money by hating Trump. The other side makes money by supporting the president. Now, it's about eight to two hate against support. 80% hate him, 20% like him. That's the American media. But the chieftains in the six corporations that control 90% of the national news, they're ordering their people to do certain things. All right? They're ordered to do it. The Smollett case, um, if, you, if you remember last week, uh, when this actor said, oh, I was uh, accosted in the street by Trump supporters at 2.30, and it was 14 degrees below zero, but I was out getting a sandwich, and they jumped me, said racist things to me and anti-gay things. The networks that immediately reported that as fact then were embarrassed when this story turned out, according to the Chicago police, to be bogus, false, a lie. So what did the networks do? They downplayed their participation in supporting Smollett, or in the case of MSNBC, they just stopped reporting the story. <laughs> they didn't report it anymore once it was turned out to be fake. So you know what you're getting here. The Mueller report is very, very important. $30 million was given to Robert Mueller and his team to investigate whether or not the Russians corrupted the 2016, 2018, no, 16, 2016 presidential election, all right, and whether the Trump campaign helped him. Okay, so this is big. This is big. But you're not going to get any honest reportage out of it. That's really depressing to me. So I, of course, will report it to you honestly, what I know, how I know it, and what it actually says. Now, again, people have made a fortune speculating, oh, they're going to say this, you're going to say that, uh, Donald Trump Jr. is in trouble, uh, Ivanka Trump's in trouble, you know. They don't know anything. They don't know anything. The one thing that's come out, the one thing that's come out that caught my attention, was Jonathan Carl, the White House reporter for ABC News, not a Trump supporter, came out and said, I've learned, anonymous sources, that it's not going to be a big deal, there's not going to be a big headline in the Mueller report. That caught my attention. Because number one, Carl would have people inside the Mueller uh, team that would talk to him. And number two, if Carl is saying that publicly, to his audience at ABC News, he's what they call warning ABC News off, warning them off. Speculation, 
I'm just reading what I know about John Carl and ABC and Mueller. All right, there is a pipeline of him. I do believe somebody told him that. And I do believe he warned his chieftains at Disney and his audience, don't get too excited about this. We're probably not going to nail a president on the Mueller report. Could be completely wrong. But again, keep your eye on the basic tenets of the report. Not what somebody thinks it is, not the summation. When it comes out and we can all see it, we can make a responsible decision. That is the Talking Points Memo. I'm Bill O'Reilly for Newsmax reminding you we do honest commentary every night on BillOReilly.com. And my book, Killing the SS, still a major bestseller after six months. I hope you check it out, and I will see you soon.